Hey everybody, welcome back to another Disney and Pixar Cars diecast video on the NCAP Cars channel. And today, we will be taking a look at the Precision Series Sarge from the Disney and Pixar Cars 2016, I believe, diecast line. So, yeah, this guy is awesome. He may have actually been released in 2017. I don't quite remember off the check his base since it has the whole date codes and all that stuff. But, um... Yeah, either way, the Precision Series version of this guy is fantastic. Very, very cool. He was actually my very first Precision Series diecast that I ever got. I never got any of them while they were in stores. And I believe this guy was a Christmas gift all the way back. And I believe, actually it may have been 2017 when I got this guy. But, I mean, yeah, he is very, very cool, very accurate which is what Mattel set out to do with all of these versions of these guys. So, yeah, let's kind of get straight into it. I'm going to tilt the camera here just a little bit. Oh, don't want him falling. And, yeah, so let's kind of get straight into it. This Sarge is very, very cool. So accurate. Definitely like this one a lot. Might be one of my more least favorite versions of the diecast character. Um, actually, no, not... Not version of this guy, but out of all the Princess and Series cars, he might be my one of my least favorite just because he's more limited on features than the rest of them are. But yeah. Anyway, starting off with the expression here, you can see very accurate. He's just kind of got like that. Not really neutral. More, more yeah, pretty much a neutral expression. He's just kind of like, Argh. he's got his eyes right there. Just, you know plain kind of what you expect to see for Sarge he's got the two headlights up front very very nice as well you can see on the side there he has his tires which they say are rubber but these ones are not rubber they are still plastic I believe but still very cool you can see he's got the green uh, rims kind of like the military green and then the nice wheels which have the cool treads giving it that cool sound when he's driving and yeah i just think that's very very nice to see very cool he has of course as i said mentioning the tire rims he is a military green color because he is a world war ii jeep which is very very cool do like the model a lot that's very nice nice matte finish to his paint which is just a perfect choice for sarge nowadays they give him more glossy paint and whatnot which isn't really the way to go, I guess. But yeah, very cool. You can feel all the little bumps, screws, plates, and all that stuff that they added to his mold. Very, very nice. He, of course, has the kind of like tarp hanging over the backside of his car, which is kind of what a lot of the World War II vehicles had. So that's a very, very nice texture. I mean, that is really, really good. Feels very cool to the fingers. It's got the windows all over. Then, of course, he's got his little Surplus Hut logo right there. Looking very, very nice indeed. Backside, he has the little canister right there and the extra spare tire. Very cool. Tail lights painted in on little areas. And he got his license plate 41 World War II. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's awesome. He's got his little number on the side of the hood here, 984673. That is on both sides. So that's very cool. All the little metal pieces up there. He does got the star on the hood as well. And then, yeah, of course, always the coolest feature for the Precision Series cars is having the opening hood, which his actually kind of like stays in position better than most others. At least out of the ones I have, it definitely stays in better position. So you can see that opens up. He's got his little, a little bit more. He's got his little engine in there. Nicely painted pieces. Very, very nice looking. I do like that a lot, and it looks fantastic. So he's cool. Base says made in Mattel, or made by Mattel, made in China. 122nd day of 2017 so yeah, it's a 2017 release and of course it has the jeep copyright because that is what he is he's a jeep so yeah 
Now, if we kind of compare him over to the regular Sarge, now this isn't the regular, regular Sarge variant. This is his version that came with the Canon in 2018. So like a year after is when this guy was released. But yeah, you can see he is definitely much heavier because he's like a lot more metal than this one is. This one's pretty much almost plastic everywhere. Now that, it's, now that I see it. But yeah, I mean, it's still very cool. Tires look almost the same. You know, this is more realistic texture than that one. These are probably like the most similar that you can get when it comes to Precision Series car with a regular car. Of course, the wheel is painted in over there. License plate, all that good stuff. But yeah, very, very nice. And then we can also take a nice little look here at, let's put them right there. Take a nice little look at his little license plate thing that came with these um, set right there carburetor county veteran so he's a world war ii veteran march 42 41 world war ii and then it gives you the facts all about sarge saying that he's a 1942 world war ii willie's army jeep l head flathead uh 134.2 cubic inch line in line four cylinder go devil engine making 60 horsepower and then of course t84 three speed manual transmission so yeah very very nice do like that a lot as well so yeah anyways that is going to do it for today's review of the pre-season series sarge thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like on this video hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one peace